So now we will tackle about the inside activities in chapter 7. So for the first activity we have 17.1.4 Point eight. So, so in this activity, we will determine the public or private IPv4 address. So, instructions, drag each IP address to the correct category, private or public or private. So, for the public, we have 64.104.0.22. Next is hmm, 209.165.201.30 Next is 1.2 hmm, 192.168.3.5 hmm, Wrong 192.03.5 for the private, we have 192, 192.168.3.5 192.168.3.5 172.16 Point thirty thirty and ten point fifty five point three point one six eight and one nine two point one six eight point one point five and the last is one seven two point sixteen point thirty five point two. So correct you have correctly identified all the IP addresses. So, for the next activity, we have 7.2.1.3. So, in this activity, we will identify the IPv4 issues and solutions. So, for the first question, first description, 128-bit address, address 340 under Cillion addresses. Term is IPv6. Next is 32-bit address, 4.3 billion addresses. IPv4. Transports an IPv6 packet over IPv4 networks. Tunneling. Uses NAT64 to convert between IPv6 and IPv4. Translation. And allows IPv4 and IPv6 to coexist on the same network segment. Dual stack. Check. Correct. We have successfully matched the IPv4 and IPv6 terms. To their descriptions so on the last activity we have 72.3.5 so uh, this active entitled identify types of IPv6 addresses so for the first description Unique internet routable IPv6 address, dynamic or static. Answer is global unicast. FEAT1, link local. Third one, global unicast. Typical IPv6 prefix. Prefix used to indicate the network portion of the address. 64. 
used to communicate with other devices on the same IPv6 subnet. Local, link local. Check. So, I have successfully matched the IPv6 address types to their descriptions. So, now we are done answering the activities for chapter 7. And see you on the next video for the for ans for we will answer the inside activities in chapter 8